Welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Duru and today we will learn about prototype and type object pattern in United 3D. So, so before we get into the theory, let's get straight to the example and practical part so you will get a good understanding of this pattern and then we can look into the theory. So say for example we are working on racing game and we have a multiple enemy cars from various brands like BMW, Jeep, Skoda and Mercedes-Benz. So what you will do basically is you will create one car script and car will have will be an abstract class and it will have a data like drift power, speed, car name and it will have a virtual functions like do drifting and update. So what it will do is it will have an abstract class for car and then every BMW suppose we have a BMW model then we will inherit from car our base class and then we will set the drift power and speed property in the start we will do same for the skoda jeep as well so if our manager or boss asked us to create skoda jeep as well then we will add drift power and speed as well now say this will work but now for example if boss or someone client came to us and asked to create one more car for mercedes so suppose we created Mercedes as well. So what we will need to do is we will also again need to create a new script. Mercedes Jeep. And then we will again need to create a new class and we will inherit from car. And then we will store the drift power. And the speed value. So this is all okay, good. But what if a client want hundreds of cars or thousands of cars in the our car racing game? So that way, creating multiple thousands of cars is not reliable, and designer in the team will get com uh, get overhead as well. So that's not good thing. So the other solution is our prototype and type object. So let's get into it. So I will go to the scene. So before that, uh, the other the other way is like just simple prototype in Unity using Unity's default. Like Skoda Jeep will have a so for example, Skoda will have a one script car like Skoda Jeep, and we will set its ins properties in inspector like 450, and speed will have 435. Then we can duplicate Skoda and rename it to something like another car, and we will change we can change its property. And then we can store it as prefab but that's really a simple way to do that uh, very easy i want to show more advanced stuff so let's get into the version 2 where i will share you how to do prototype and type object pattern so this is the another scene and here i am using car units or uh, script in on all the cars so instead of using car specific script like skoda car or bmw car we are using car unit script so let's look at what is car unit script. So car unit script is mono behavior and it has a one car model and it has two virtual scripts like do drifting and the update. So car model is nothing but a scriptable object and it stores all the data drift power speed and car name. So benefit of that is we can now have a car unit script on the Skoda and we can create a one scriptable object skoda jeep and it, we can store its property over there then we can create mercedes and we have a same we can have same script but just our data will be changed and same for bmw so now if we want to create one more uh, data model then we can create another car and we can have hundreds of these scriptable object with different properties and car name taste so we can do anything and we can create multiple cars and we can just drag and drop this property and it will give that properties so let's see how this works so if we go to the game and let's open up our console window so now if i press on this game let me show up on the console. 
so you can see it's showing the now if i press then you can show test drifting at 342 so the uh, car model our car unit has this uh, uh, when user presses on screen it will do do drifting and it will show car name plus drifting at its drift power so you can see it's bmw drifting at 750 mercedes drifting at 333 and skoda drifting at 780 so now if we change mercedes property to say example 650 and if we press then you can you can see that mercedes property has changed so that's the power of this uh, prototype and type object pattern so let's see how i implemented it so first is car model so car model is scriptable object so instead of we inheriting from car we have a car unit which is hen, uh, which has a friend uh, which has a property car model and it will have all the data related to car drifting speed its doors its uh, horsepower or anything whatever it has so we can add those properties inside of this we can even have a prefect game objects inside of this and we can instantiate that on fly and we can then have a single script on all the cars and only data will be changed so we can uh, create scriptable objects and do that so we just needed two scripts and we get all the cars data inside of our unity whereas before we need to create a car abstract and then we need to inherit for each class so multiple class management needed to be done but with this prototype and type object pattern we just need two scripts one mono behavior our car unit and another car model with scriptable object so instead of so what if you do not want to use scriptable object then you can use json file and have all the data all this data inside of your json script and you can face that in the car unit you can also have it in xml or normal text file and you just need to change this car model to your json object or xml object etc and you get all the benefits of this pattern so let's go into the theory so theory is like let me open my chat so this is our before version inherited so before we we had a car sub uh, base class and all other cars would inherit from that so data duplication would be done and everything and after our new pattern type object and prototype we just have a car model so car model and car is same you can have it as car as well and then it is a friend that is it is a method on our car unit and all the data like mercedes will would be stored in here so in c in c++ we call it friend but in this c sharp we are having car unit as a class primary and we have a method which is car or car model which has all the mercedes code and bmw data so this is modular as well and plugin as well plug and play as well and car unit basically frees up from inheriting from other class as well so if we have another so we want to add another bin feature or another inherit from another base class uh, like racetrack or something else then we can inherit from that because c sharp only allows one class to be inherit so having this pattern basically frees up our that obstacle as well so yeah, that's the prototype and type object pattern in nutshell uh, this has a very good benefits in data modularity and if you like this tutorial do subscribe to my channel for more game design patterns tutorials and if you hate it then do dislike it if you like it then do like it and share it with your friends and your colleagues so i can create more such a tutorials see ya